Welcome back everybody to another video here. My name is Chris from Critters Rehatched and yes I know these videos seem like they are never going to end with my collection updates but I'm back again and I have another one here for you guys. This one's going to focus on magazines, books, and scripts. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started and the scripts that we have here for you. The first one, I only have two. Um, there are several versions of each one of the scripts I believe. I know Critters 2 has like three or four drafts that's out there floating around somewhere. Uh, you can get, and I think Critters 4 has a couple of them as well. But um, the first one I have here is uh, Critters 2. This The actual original title was Call of the Critters. And um, as you can tell, it's, it's a pretty thick uh, script here. And this one was done on, it's the third draft, on October 13th, 1987. And um, I mean, there's really not much to say. I mean, I, I, do, I do not own... The first, second, or fourth draft, but I do know that they do exist, and I do know a way of getting them. So pretty soon, I hope to add another script to my collection for that one. Um, and the, uh, the other script that I have is for Critters 4, and this one is, um, it says Revised Draft, February 26, 1991. Uh, there is a lot of stuff in both of these versions. This version right here has a lot of Critters 2, has a lot of different stuff that was not actually in... Um, the movie itself and there's a lot of different lines uh, different type of stuff that happens to the characters not every line from the movie is in this so it's really cool to read these uh, this one's the same way um, there's there's a lot of different stuff that happens in the movie that that wasn't necessarily on page and um, I think it's really cool to go through and read them and, and see what ones were left out see what stuff was added new from the movie and uh, that's the only reason why I like to have those is just because it does make for good reading material from time to time and good comparisons uh, the next thing here that we have um, is going to be um, a book. I have a book called The Horror Movie Survival Guide, and I believe this was made in 2001. And if I open up here, there is a page here that's dedicated to critters called Krites. And um, the basically, this is just a book with information. It tells you, it goes through a bunch of different horror characters and movies and stuff, and tells you about what the character is and how many people they killed during the movie run. So this one gives you all the information for it for Critters 1, 2, 3, and 4. Information about the creatures themselves uh, and what they do and who created them. Um, and then the back page has a little uh, image there uh, with some more information as well. Um, just, just because of this, I didn't even know this was in here when I bought the book. Uh, I bought this a long time ago and I just happened to just it just happened to be in there. So it's just a coincidence that, uh, that I got this. So uh, That one's called the Horror Movie Survival Guide from 2001. Uh, basically, the magazines that I'm going to show you are just different magazines that feature critters in either picture or article form. And I'll show you exactly which magazines they are and uh, what the actual articles are. So the first one I have here is a little bit weird. Um, I never even heard of this before, but it's called um, Monsterland Magazine. And as you can tell, this here is almost like an unfinished sculpture from the production of Critters on the front. And on the inside here, it does have a nice little image of a critter with another little image over here indicating what page the article is going to be on. And it says page 52, so we're going to turn to page 52. And we get an article here about the Kyoto Brothers and the making of. And this here is an image that I've actually never seen before, so that's pretty cool. Some behind the scenes image that I've never seen. And the article apparently goes through and talks about the creative differences that from the Kyoto Brothers on making the actual puppets and the, and the animatronics. Uh, there's another page here, and this one has an article with the Kyoto Brothers on it that has another behind-the-scenes photo here that I've never seen online. This is the only place I've ever seen this at. And then it also has this cool color image here of a critter. And this is um, Monsterland Magazine, issue number 12, from August 1986. So there's that one. Next up is um, a more recent... Um, magazine. This one is Horror Hound, issue number 47. Uh, this one I believe came out about a month or two ago. It focuses on the new Godzilla movie. And they dedicated an issue in the back to the Horror horror Hall of Fame of Critters. And it has an article in here that talks about um, ma basically what the story of, the, of Critters is and the history of it, how it became to be about Stephen Herrick comparing it to Gremlins and stuff like that and doing revisions for the script to make it as much unlike Gremlins as possible. There's that one. Uh, the next one here is, this one is 
Fangoria issue number 54. So this is a pretty older magazine, and there is the magazine here. It's got Poltergeist 2 on the front, but there's Critters right down here at the bottom. And we open up to the page that it's on, and the first thing you see is this right here with the whole Critter crew. And I have actually not read the article, so I don't know what the article is actually about. But it does contain some cool scenes here that I've never seen before. This image here shows a critter that is eating out the body of, look like uh, Billy Zane's character uh, from when he's in the barn. So this image exists, so apparently there is a scene that, that um, isn't on, in the movie anywhere, it's been cut from the movie, where the critter actually is eating his stomach and stuff like that, and it's very detailed and vivid. And then this image here shows uh, Billy Greenbush's character, um, him ripping open a critter from the mouth. He grabs a hold of the critter. Apparently this is right after it attacks him on the front porch and he shoots one of them with his shotgun. I'm guessing this happens right before when they get locked out of the house and they're getting ready to get back in. I'm guessing he grabs one of the critters that's ready to, to attack him and he just grabs it and rips it from mouth mouth open and stuff, just rips it apart. And it's a really cool image to see and I know that that scene exists somewhere. I wish that footage was there for us to see but apparently it's not anywhere to be seen right now but that movie, that scene has been cut from the movie. And then down here we just have an image of the critter. And then there is another page for it, I believe. Oh, no, I lied. Okay. So that was it. That was all the article, all the pictures and stuff from that article. Um, next up we have, which is um, Fangoria issue number... <clears throat> well, I don't see an issue number on here anywhere, but it is... Uh, it's May. It's an issue from May, so I don't know what it won. But it does cover Critters 2. You can see it covers Critters 2 here. And as you open it up, it looks like, if I can find, now i got to go through here because I lost my page. I actually had this written out. <laughs> okay, it's called Monster Invasion. And here we have some um, behind-the-scenes footage here from Critters. We have the, the most known one here of them, of Scott Grimes with the Critter. But down here is another one that has them actually putting like uh, makeup and stuff on the Critter Puppets uh, on set. And I've never seen this uh, on the internet anywhere before. This is only seen in this magazine. So that's pretty cool. And I'm not sure if it's listed anywhere in here or not, but I'll check. And if I find more articles in here about Critters or anything else in this one, I will, uh, I'll show you again in another video. Um, we move on to issue number 51 of Fangoria magazine and on the front here you can see it has listed for critters and it's going to be some images in there for you so let's pop this open and see where it's going to be at and it's going to be at page 49 so let's go to page 49 here I'm sorry that I didn't get prepared for this first but oh well okay so here we have it we have Critters, and um, as you can see, this one has uh, one of the scenes here where they're getting ready to get blown back whenever the, the bounty hunters show up and blow the house up. Um, and I, like I said before, I've never actually read these articles. I need to go through and do that and see if there's anything that's really cool about them that's in here. Uh, the next page shows some more. Uh, we have some more classic scenes, and um, this one here... Um, is one of the most well-known scenes. I think it's on the back of the VHS cover too. So, but uh, we have that's like three or four pages right there already. So that's really cool. To, I need to read these articles and see if there's anything important in here about these that I've never read before. And last but not least, for our magazines, we have Fangoria issue for June. This one has Critters Two. And um, this one's right there, right on the front. Most people probably know this magazine or this issue because of that. And when you open it up, you have Critters 2, The Call to Critters. The Call of Critters, sorry. And this was what the original title was supposed to be, The Call of the Critters. Um, and, of course, we have a lot of the Wolf's well-known Im images over here. And the article basically talks about um, the making of with Mick Garris and how this, you know, the first one did really well. Uh, we have another image here with the Kyoto Brothers doing the puppetry and then Terrence Mann as the bounty hunter Ugg. And that is it for that article. So that's that issue.
And I've gone through, these are all the magazines and the books that I have that feature any type of article or pictures of critters that I know of. Uh, I'm sure there's probably more that I'm just unaware of or just don't have at the moment. Uh, but if I ever get them or if you know any of them, please shoot me a, um, a message and let me know which magazines or books has those image, images or articles in there. I'd love to read them. I'd love to get my hands on a copy of them. Uh, so hope you hope you guys enjoyed the video and maybe this will get you guys to go out and try to find these magazines to add to your collection. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you again next time.